Thanks to the greater availability of preventative medicine and improvements in the quality of veterinary care, the life expectancy of domestic animals has greatly increased in recent years. However, the care human guardians provide to their dogs has a large bearing on their health and well-being, so we can't simply rely on veterinary medical health professionals to do all the work. In this Animal Wise video, we show you what you can do to help your dog have a long and happy life. Food is a fundamental aspect of canine care and well-being. Offering a balanced diet with adequate nutrients not only helps us to prevent obesity, but assists in avoiding many other nutrition-related health issues. It's also important to adapt feeding habits to the needs of the individual animal, taking into account breed, age, sex, lifestyle, and of course medical history to provide the right amount and quality of food. We can opt for a diet based on food with quality nutrition levels, but we can also consult our veterinarian about the possibility of alternate recipes. Taking care of a dog's teeth is not always as different from our own teeth. The formation of tartar and gingivitis are common canine health problems and, if left untreated, can lead to very serious dental disease. These may include premature tooth decay, abscesses and even periodontal infections. The best way to prevent this is by maintaining an adequate dental hygiene routine. Brushing is probably the most important aspect of caring for a dog's coat, especially in long-haired breeds. After choosing the right brush for your dog, establish a weekly brushing routine, brushing between one and three times a week, depending on the length and texture of the individual dog's coat. This will help remove dirt and tangles. You'll also be able to observe if there are any parasites present in the dog's coat, and the grooming itself strengthens the bond we have with the animal. Regular baths are also essential to keep the dog's skin clean and healthy. At the same time, overbathing is not healthy, so only wash them between one and three months at most. And don't forget to use products that are specific to canines. A regular exercise routine for your dog helps him to channel energy, release stress and tone muscle. In fact, it is key in helping your dog to live longer and better. Even so, you should take into account the limitations of each animal since intense uncontrolled exercise can be as harmful as avoiding it altogether. Mental stimulation is just as vital as physical exercise but is often easily neglected. We need to know that it affects the welfare of the dog in a similar way. Providing mental stimulation, whether through intelligence games, canine training or scent-based games, is essential to maintain good mental health and cognitive acuity. Additionally, mental stimulation helps to improve the bond with their owner, is useful in preventing cognitive dysfunction syndrome, and helps reduce the likelihood of such behavioural problems as destructiveness. Although it seems obvious, keeping the house clean with enzymatic products and avoiding harsh chemicals improves their well-being. It also avoids agitating their well-developed sense of smell. Furthermore, it encourages calmness and stability, resulting in the dog having a more comfortable and harmonious home life. Deworming dogs should be carried out both internally and externally and is a key aspect to their care. This is because the parasites they help to avoid are vectors for serious diseases, necessitating the deworming in the first place. Check with the trusted veterinarian about the best products to use for your dog. Following the dog's vaccination schedule will help us to prevent many diseases which cannot be treated once contracted. These include parvovirus or distemper. In addition, regular visits every 6 to 12 months will help us detect any changes in our dog, making a good prognosis likelier. There are many advantages to sterilising dogs, including greater longevity and the prevention of various diseases. These do vary depending on the sex of the animal and age at which they are sterilised. 
It will also help prevent unhealthy exploratory behaviour, inappropriate sexual behaviour and aggression, the latter being particularly important for male dogs. We want to show you some symptoms of a dog which is unwell or likely to exhibit some health problems. Paying attention to the following details means you can take them to a vet or canine ethologist to rule out any anomaly. Finally, if you're thinking of adopting a dog for the first time, we want to stress the importance of investigating the health issues related to any specific dog in terms of breed, age and medical history. A committed tutor is the best way to having a happy and healthy dog. Now that you know our helpful tips to engender a long life for your dog, is there anything else you'd like to add? If so, leave us a comment and don't forget to give us a like. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful pet care videos and stay up to date with all our content. We'll see you next time.